Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa. In today's video, I'm gonna take y'all along and show y'all some thrifted and some fall home decor inspiration ideas. I'm gonna take some thrifted finds and some thrifty inspiration, and I'm gonna create some pretty home decor for fall or any occasion. As always, I hope y'all enjoy the video and I hope you get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. Okay, y'all, let's get to working on some DIY projects. The first project that I worked on this week was this beautiful wood shelf. And, you know, it doesn't look real pretty right now, but we found this at Goodwill and it was only $15. Now, I'm not sure what it was. I'm pretty sure it was probably a cabinet for something one time, maybe a stereo or maybe an old console top TV, but it's the perfect size that I need for a little space that I have upstairs. So I, we're gonna get it and we're gonna totally make it over. So well, of course, it fit perfect in our back seat of our car, so that's a plus. So the first thing we're gonna do once we got it home, we're gonna clean it off really good. And you can see how the bottom's made and that's why I think maybe a TV or a stereo was in it at one time. But we just took some simple green, we went over the whole piece, top and bottom and sprayed it and cleaned it really well and then we're going to give it a good paint job using our critter um, spray painter that I have listed in my Amazon store. Now we did not sand the top of it and that was a mistake. It had some really bad chipping areas on the top and I thought about it. We need to get the electric sander out and go over it but we didn't. So we'll have to go back in a few minutes once we see how the paint laid on it. I wasn't happy with it. So Ben got the electric sander out. He went across the top really good and he smoothed it all out and then he gave it another layer of paint across the top. Now the paint that we're using on this is some that we purchased at Lowe's. We bought it by the gallon. It's just a um, an interior type white paint. So that's what we put in our critter and a lot of times you'll want to add a little water to it just to make it a good consistency to go through the sprayer really well. So once we got it all painted, I decided I liked it the way it was and I'm not going to distress it. Now I've got a great furniture piece that I only spent $15 on and now I can style it with all of my vintage and my shabby chic decor pieces. And just a quick reminder, if you're not already following me over on Facebook at Our Green Acres, make sure to go over and follow me there. Hit that follow button because I post content over there daily. So make sure you're following the page. That way we can stay connected. The next project piece that I worked on this week is another Goodwill find. I found this really uh, pretty it's a wall hook and you can see it's got the red and the black. So I think this will distress well. The first thing we want to do when we prepare to paint, we put a layer of paint on just to see if there was going to be any bleed through and that red did bleed through. So we're just going to go through that center area and we're going to seal it down with some spray shellac. This will avoid wood bleed. So once we got it painted, we spray painted it with a couple of layers and then I went around all the edges and the hooks and I distressed it back and showed through that black. It distressed really well. Now I've got a great little wall hook that I can display some more of my vintage and my little shabby chic decor items. I don't know if you follow me yet over on my Facebook page, Our Green Acres, and if you're not, please go over and follow me there. But I featured this clock that I recently found at Goodwill, and I only paid $3.99 for it. Y'all, I did a little bit of research. This is a clock similar to mine. It retails for $499. Now, that was a more, you know, upscaled 
um, brand than mine. Mine's more of like a rustic farmhouse. This was probably some kind of item that maybe was sold on maybe decor steels or something like that. But the sticker on the back of mine was uh, over $150 for the retail. And like I say, I picked it up for $3.99. Of course, this clock is already distressed. It's the perfect color for me. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just style it in my little corner over here with my thrifted cabinet and my little thrifted hook. And I'm just showing y'all ways of when you go to the thrift store, things that you can look for, things that you can pick up so inexpensive and you can decorate all the spaces in your home with only thrifted items and you haven't broke the bank. The next project is going to be a fun one because this is something I see at the thrift store all the time are these chafing dish metal um, serving dishes. These are things that you see maybe out on a buffet setting where it keeps your food. It has like a dish that sits down in it then it has a flame that sits down the base on the bottom just to keep the food warm on a buffet setting. And like I say, these are always at the thrift store. They don't ever have the chafing dishes in them. But, you know, these have such beautiful, ornate detail. So I decided to pick this one up and try to bring it home, and we're going to make something out of it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a base for it. So you will not be able to see the base, but I want to be able to cover up that hole just so we can set things down in it. So I just traced around the bottom of it the best I could using a piece of printer paper and went around it with a pencil, and that was my pattern. And now that we have the pattern set, and it will sit down in there. We're going to cut out a piece of Dollar Tree foam board in a round circle, and that'll be a good base for us. And just to add a little bit of detail to the front, I just added an IOD transfer that I had. Y'all know I always have transfer scraps, and I'm trying to use them up, and I thought this one was a really pretty design. So I'm just going to put this on the front of it just to give it, you know, a little bit of embellishment, and that's all I did to this. Now, if you don't have transfers, you could also, you know, use a clay mold would be really pretty on it. You could put a stencil on it, but now these make a great decor piece that we can use in our home and decorate for all the seasons. So don't pass up those little metal you know, buffet serving trays now. If you see them, pick those up, and now we've got some great little, you know, ideas and inspiration of things that we can do with them. Okay, the next project is going to be a project that I did in last week's video and I'll have a link to it down below and also at the end of this video if you want to click on it and watch it. But I showed y'all how to make a sweater pumpkin candle holder where you can just put a taper candle down in it that runs off a remote control. Well, I'm going to take the candle out of it and give you another idea of another thing we can do with these little sweater pumpkins. I ordered these from Hobby Lobby. I actually mail ordered them, so they were delivered directly to my doorstep. I got three of them. They were $1.99 each. And then I just went in, I trimmed them down some on the stems, bent them up, and just add those to the top of your pumpkin, and it makes a great little pumpkin stem embellishment. Now, I think this would be pretty to set this out, of course, through fall season, and also this would carry you through to make really pretty centerpieces for your Thanksgiving dinner table. The next project, y'all, is going to be some beautiful wall sconces that I found at Goodwill. Now, I cannot pass up a good wall sconce, and I think these were Home Co. brand. So, back in the day, I'm sure these were really styled in someone's living room. <laughs> I, they, they may have been in my living room growing up, but, but I paid $1.99 for the set, and I just spray painted them 
white, and then I went around and I distressed them. Now, these right here make great, again, great candle holders for those little remote control tapered candles that I've been showing y'all that's linked in my Amazon store. I told y'all we we're going to get so many uses out of these. So I hope y'all be able to order a set. You get six to a package. Because like I say, during fall and Christmas for sure, I know I'm really going to enjoy these little remote control tapered candles. But I just wanted to give y'all an idea. If you see little wall sconces like this, and they're always at the thrift store, always pick those up. And I'm just trying to give you more ideas of how you can upcycle them and you can use them in your home. The next item that I'm going to upcycle for you is going to be a canister. And this is just a white canister. It does have some cracks on it, but they're not very noticeable. But I couldn't leave this behind for $2.99. So I picked it up. And all I'm going to do to this, I'm not going to paint it or anything. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. But I am going to take my little box of transfer scraps. I told y'all I always have little scraps left over from my transfer books. And I just put them in this little um, this little um, book pocket that I made in a previous video and that's where I store a lot of my transfer pieces. So I'm going to take this one. This is a really good one. It's still pretty large in size and it'll go on the front of this and give this little jar, you know, just some detail, make it a little bit more French country looking. So I'm going to just take the little um, transfer tool and I'm going to put this transfer on it. And that's all I'm going to do to this piece. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to add some fall florals to it. And then I'm also in the next um, project, I'm going to show you something else that I found at Goodwill that will pair really good in this little canister. And if you haven't guessed already what the next project's going to be, it's going to be this rolling pin. Y'all, and I know like a lot of y'all, we cannot pass up a good rolling pin when we find it out thrifting or at a yard sale. This one was no exception. It was $1.99. Now, a lot of them I upcycle, but this one I'm not. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I love that natural wood color to it. But just a $2 item that I found at the thrift store, now I can add it into my fall decor and it adds such a great natural element to it. I found this really pretty black frame. I actually have two of these. These were in my, in my frame inventory too. So I pulled it out. I'm going to go over it. Even though it's black, I'm going to dull down that little shiny black and give it a coat of black chalk paint. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to show y'all another a new stencil. Y'all know I love stencils, so I just purchased another one on Amazon. Now, I love Fleur de Lis. So if you like Fleur de Lis, you'll love this stencil. And of course, it will be linked to my Amazon store in the stencil category. Now, I cut down a piece of Dollar Tree foam board and also a piece of burlap because I want to cover my foam board. And I do this all the time in my videos. It's just really easy to do. 
you cut down your foam board to fit your frame and then you go around using some hot glue and you secure all the edges of your fabric around the foam board and you want to have a smooth front when you get finished and then you can you know then start you know designing your graphic on the front of it and in this project we're going to use that new stencil I got and I'm excited to use it so now and you can use any fabric you want you could also do this on drop cloth if you prefer but i just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a rustic kind of a fall feel and to me burlap is is more rustic so i'm going to go with the burlap <clears throat> but i just laid my stencil down i taped it down really well because you may want to work in sections since the sections of the stencil are pretty large and that way it'll avoid bleeding you know on your fabric so I went and I, I stenciled it down and then I wanted to put some French wording at the bottom. This is another stencil that I have linked in my Amazon store and I'm just going to use th that wording that was at the bottom and then I'm going to go back and add the grains to the top. So I'm just kind of designing this as I go using bits and pieces of stencils that I already have and this is what I come up with. Now we've got a really pretty, very inexpensive piece of wall decor now that I feel like looks, you know, will fit well in your fall vignettes. Because to me, like I say, the burlap on this and the black, it just screams rustic. Now, before we put that stencil up, I want to show y'all another project. This is a stool that I recently got at a yard sale and I paid $10 for it. I love the natural look of the wood and being able to see all that pretty gray and that wood grain. But just to add a little detail to it, I'm going to go to the top of the stool and I'm going to add this stencil to it. And I'm using Waverly Ink Chalk Paint. I did have some bleed through on this one, but I'm going to let it dry really well and I'm going to go over it with a sanding block and I'm going to sand it down really good and make it look really distressed because I want it to look like it is worn in to the top of, you know, of this stool. And that's it. That's all we had to do. Just add in just a small detail to the top of this stool. Totally gave it a more of a little French country vibe. And now I've got this. I can set this up. You know, I can use it for a riser for some of my fall decor. Or I can just set it around and people can sit on it. So just a $10 bar stool. And we upcycled it and made it into some really pretty home decor. The next item I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you is so, <laughs> it's so fitting for this video because what did I find at Goodwill? It was $1.99, but y'all, I absolutely love this. And for the picture that I just made, I'm going to leave it black for now, but I can always paint it white and distress it, and I think it'll be absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it was a Hobby Lobby piece for $9.99, so I scored it for $1.99. I'm just going to pair it with my new you know, um, Fleur de Lis wall decor piece that I just made. And I think this will make a great little vignette piece that just adds a little bit of detail to our space. You are the one who takes my breath away In the vast skies of love I'm free As long as... 
Now the next decor project that I'm going to work on is going to be some yard sale finds. I found a couple of these uh, a while back and I've just had them in my inventory but they were a quarter a piece and they're little concrete like little canisters and you can see they're made in Germany. So I don't really want to paint these. I do like the color of them but I got some new mesh stencils. And y'all, I'm going to leave a link below to Vintage B Designs, and I'm going to have an affiliate link for you. So please use my affiliate link and go out and shop her website. She's got so many DIY products and supplies that we can use. There's so many more products that I want to get from her. But I've been wanting that little rabbit mesh stencil for the longest, and when I tried to get it, it was sold out. So I'm going to show you the next project, but I'm just going to show you some ways of how you can take these little mesh stencils and you can add these to your projects and they add such a great detail. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with mesh, mesh stencils, but you can cut these apart and you can reuse them. You can wash them. You just put them back on the backing and store them, but these are reusable. And all you want to do is you want to peel that backing off of it once you've cut it off, you know, off, off your sheet make sure it is adhered to your base really well just rub over it make sure it's you know tacked down good and then just go over it with your paint now i'm using a waverly ink chalk paint on this with a little sponge brush there's also a little scraper tool that you can also use with mesh stencils and i've showed that in a previous video now here's that beautiful bunny that i've been wanting this stencil is called the bon bon bunny and it gets sold out really quick so I was so glad when I found it on her website. But y'all, bunnies to me never go out of season. We were walking this morning and it's the 1st of September and we saw all kinds of little bunnies on our walk. So bunnies to me are left out at my house pretty much year round. But I'm just gonna add one of those cute little bunnies to this one, but you could also add a pumpkin or, you know, whatever if you want to go, you know, more of the fall autumn route. But I'm gonna put th some things on it where I can leave these out. You know, even through Christmas, I can leave them out all year long. So just want to give y'all some ideas of how to use the mesh stencils and I'll be having some upcoming projects where we're going to use some more. I surrender my heart I was yours from the start Together we will be stronger Hey y'all, the last project, but I just want to throw this in real quick because I was having so much fun with those mesh stencils and I was so excited to get the little Bon Bon Bunny. So I just took a metal tray that I had thrifted. I went over it with a couple layers of Dixie Belle cotton chalk paint and then I'm just going to apply the really cute little Bon Bon mesh stencil bunny and he went on really well. I applied him with the black ink um, chalk paint, but you could use, you know, whatever colors you wanted. You could even do some fall colors if you wanted to do the pumpkin orange or maybe a green or something like that or brown and just kind of make, you know, the bunnies just kind of fit into your fall decor. It is so easy to do. So I'm just trying to give you more ideas and inspiration of things that you can throw into your fall decor. They don't necessarily all have to be, you know, pumpkins and pumpkin themed we can throw some cute little bunnies in there and make them really cute for our fall decor okay y'all is coming toward the end of the video and i am so happy y'all stayed with me if you are still here thank y'all again for coming over to my channel and watching my video today and i hope you got 
lots of inspiration and ideas for some fall decor or any occasion decor for your home. Because remember, making home decor for our homes, it doesn't have to be expensive. We can have fun going out and shopping at the thrift stores and yard sales or even using things, you know, just upcycling things we may already have at home. So as always, y'all, make sure to go over and follow me on Facebook. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I love y'all. And I'll plan to see y'all next Monday in my next video. And make sure to go out and check out the description box. And I'll also have it in a pinned comment for the products that I use today. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you soon.